Hello there, guys and girls. This is the Russian Friends winner at Total War Tiller Tournament match. It's going to be Cup of Nations 2015 again, group stage. Uh, I'm playing as the Allens, again, I'm a part of the Agony Clan. And I'm up against uh, Piterus of EQPL. Piterus, I don't know how to call him exactly. Uh, and he is playing as the Saxons on planes. Uh, I'm gonna go over the builds relatively quickly. Time to go into slow mo. So here we go. Uh, my build, you can see again the standard three Germanic horsemen, gold three on my right, three Germanic horsemen, gold three on my left. The Germanic noble bronze one brace general, pretty normal for me with uh, the Allens so far. Then I have a bunch of Germanic archers, five of them supported by four Germanic pikes up front. And again, these two Sarmatian warband on my right, one silver two, one gold one. Uh, two on my left as well. These guys are both gold one though, so I've changed my builds slightly like every game I change it a bit the bikes have no upgrades this time around uh, as for my opponent Pitarus he has his general in a Nordic warlord unit rally bronze one as well uh, For his cavalry contingent three heroic cav on his right I need to be really careful about these guys despite the fact that they have no upgrades then two Nordic Horse Lords on his left flank, Bronze 1, and a Saxon Lancer in the center. Not quite sure why he didn't bring an extra melee cab unit, like an extra Nordic Horse Lord or something. But this unit is still quite nice against infantry, but that's about it. Against cavalry, it pretty much gets destroyed. Uh, so, yeah, I think he should have brought another Nordic Horse Lord instead. But again, you can see his cavalry on his left flank, Bronze 1, whereas everything else isn't upgraded. Uh, his center contingent consists of three Nordic pikemen. On his right flank, we see... Uh, what is this? I can't see properly. Okay, three Nordic axe warriors. But this formation is kind of weird what he's using over here. <laughs> this There's one unit that's with entangled with the others or something. Then again, we see this hearth guard. And on his left flank, a hearth guard with two Nordic axe warriors. So this build by him is actually fairly rushy because he has three, four, five, six, seven uh, sword and swords and axes. Uh, then we see three Nordic pikes. So he has quite the melee power. These Nordic Nordic axe warriors, if they get a charge off onto infantry, they will do so much damage. Because let's look at their stats. So look at this: forty-eight melee attack, fifty-six melee damage, and fifty-seven charge bonus. That is massive. And on the charge, they will wreck any unit, even elites, I think. Well, I guess it depends on the unit, but still. So, uh, yeah, at this point he's moving up, but he's gonna be making a mistake, because he's moving up with his cab first, and this allows me to shoot with my archers into his cavalry, and I'm gonna be shooting flaming arrows, and it's gonna do so much damage to his Nordic horse lords. Look at them. Okay, they're raising their shields, and they're like, okay, we don't want to take this fire, but it doesn't really matter if they do or not, because they're just gonna take so much HP damage from my uh, archers and the same thing over here as you can see and this is very important for me because it's gonna allow my cavalry to win much more easily against his cavalry units uh, he's taking the real damage over here and he's actually lost two of his guys in the cavalry unit over here so already these mistakes are going to cost him dearly just look at how much he's already lost in this unit Four men, that is very important. Two here, one here. Again, it's not just losing the men, but it's also taking HP damage. And here again, he's taking damage onto his uh, heroic cav. A lot of men dying here. He's actually pushing up the Nordic pikes, but yeah, over here as well. One died here, four died here. I'm going to pull back because I want to continue shooting his unit going to screen my Sarmatian Warband over here with a Germanic Horseman and he's lost so many of his units over here and I'm putting as you can see I'm putting this Germanic Horseman as part of my pike line so I can support much easier because then I, I don't have to charge through my own pikes for instance so I'm going to pull away here but I'm also gonna send this Germanic Horseman around uh, I'm going to continue pulling away he is actually kind of engaging me over here but I'm actually firing at the wrong unit. I should be targeting the Saxon Lancers. There we go. I'm starting to target the Saxon Lancers. These guys are going to die quite quickly as well. To Flaming Shot. 
He's, he continues to take a lot of damage from my flaming shot and now he's going to go for it but I think this is an engagement I'm willing to take because look this Nordic Horse Lord has taken so much damage already 41 and I've thrown javelins into them he doesn't get a charge off but I do over here Nordic Pikes are actually gonna lose to Germanic Pikes but now I'm going to pull this one unit back going to charge here then I'm going to charge back into his heroic cavalry I'm going to try and get through here somehow to Saxon Lancers, but I miss Micro here. My Germanic Archer is actually kind of fighting in melee, which is not good for me, of course. Oh, I miss Micro over here, but I do get a charge last second into, into the Saxon Lancers. As you can see here, Nordic Axe Warriors get wrecked by Germanic Horsemen. Uh, I've uh, broken through his heroic cavalry over here, lost a lot on the Sarmatian Warband, but now this allows me to get an excellent charge off onto his Unbraced Hearth Guards. Uh, also need to get rid of more of his cavalry. I'm targeting the one that's pulling away because then I won't be doing friendly fire casualties to myself. Here I'm engaging his Saxon Lancer General with Nordic Warlord support, so not the best. But since he pulls away, he's going to lose a lot of uh, the Saxon Lancers. And I'm going to go for a rear charge into this Hearth Guard. Going to do damage, but not the best formation by me. I've won a decisive victory on my right flank. As for my left, it's not looking as great. Still though, the flaming shot is just going to kill all his cavalry here. I've, I'm still breaking through his uh, right as well as his left. And now I'm going to pull away this Germanic Horseman that did damage to the Hearth Guard over here. Focusing down the Saxon Lancer. I've got Pike support here, so he can't go through and get into my archers. Uh, my Germanic Horseman here destroyed this Hearth Guard as well. But I, ha I am losing this Armation Warband. And just look at these archers though, just doing so much damage to this heroic cavalry. This Sarmatian Warband is going to hold down this heroic cavalry enough for my archers to kill it. Also going to get an extra charge off onto these Axe Warriors. Axe Warriors don't like getting charged at all. Uh, as you can see they have uh, 10 armor and 82 health so as, if you can charge Axe Warriors they're pretty much dead. Very very... they're gonna have a really bad time if they get charged by cavalry. That is for sure. And at this point, it's just looking very, very good for me. This heroic cavalry with one man left, it's its only just now wavering. Pretty strange thing. Uh, I'm gonna get a rear charge over here. Might actually grab my own Sarmatian Warband. But his Nordic Axe Warriors are going to die here. Targeting his Nordic Warlord General right now. I'm gonna go for a flanking charge onto his Nordic Warlord here. Uh, it's gonna go decently well for me, I guess. You can see here fighting fighting and fighting a decisive victory as you can see I have a lot of men remaining Germanic horsemen doing excellent job for me this game Germanic pikes did what they needed to do Sarmatians didn't do too much but they were up against axe warriors and uh, so that was gonna be difficult for them and Germanic archers doing very very well for them I'm really proud of him but anyway that is the game so hope you guys guys enjoyed if you want to see more don't forget to comment or subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video and i'll see you next time